Real Country 1430 AM and 107.3 FM WRDN. This is the WRDN Morning Farm Report. I'm Brian Winnikins, and uh, this morning we are joined by uh, Albert Boydie. He is a professor at uh, UW River Falls. We're going to talk a little bit about an animal welfare survey and study that uh, Albert's been a part of uh, for the dairy industry. Thank you to our uh, newsmaker sponsors, including Wisconsin Farmers Union, a j Agronomy, Synergy Co-op, Osseoplastics, and of a silo. Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley and Compere Financial. Professor Boydie, thanks for joining us today. Well, first, I guess, tell us a little bit about this study, what it all looked like, looked at, and how you conducted it. Thanks very much, and Brian, for having me here, and good morning to your listeners. Um, we started with the question of trying to understand the issue of um, social sustainability um, within the dairy industry. As you may be aware, the long-term trends in fluid milk consumption have been declining over the years. And part of the concern was that there is an increase in awareness among consumers about some of the social ethical issues in agriculture in general. And this has been exacerbated because consumers are increasingly getting disconnected from the farm. So under the auspices of the Wisconsin um, Dairy Innovation Hub, we were commissioned to start looking at issues of social sustainability um, between consumers and, and farmers in order to identify points of convergence through which we can help the industry to position itself in the market. So did you interview dairy farmers and consumers or just dairy farmers? Um, the initial part of our work was to look at um, um, dairy farmers. So we did a statewide survey of dairy farmers. I think some of your listeners may have received a survey package. And then we also did a nationwide study of um, survey of dairy consumers just to understand the positions of the two key stakeholders in the industry and where they converge, which is consistent with the objectives of our study. And so what did the study find? Interestingly, um, we looked at um, seven important indicators of social sustainability and the preliminary results that we have come up, I really, for us, the most interesting thing is that unlike what people in general think, farmers are indeed concerned about the social and environmental aspects of agriculture and of their production practices. We noticed that farmers and consumers appear to converge around the food safety aspects of, of their production. So consumers care a lot about food safety, farmers care quite a lot about food safety. So, so there's some element of convergence around the food safety. Where we see some disconnect is pertaining to the issue about um, pasture access for dairy cows and the wages of um, people, hired labor on dairy farms. So we see some elements of disconnect there in terms of the views of um, farmers and consumers around those issues. So how can we get the farmers and the consumers then to come together on those two issues? Right, so thank you. I think that the whole point, um, again, of our work is to, is to see that. So now that we are, I, we are seeing those um, issues, I think the challenge, at least on the production side, is how do we position the dairy industry in a strategic way in order to take advantage of the issues on which consumers and producers converge. And I think an important part is sort of highlighting the wholesomeness of milk, you know, which consumers care about and farmers do care about too. And then try to understand in what ways can we meet some of the animal welfare concerns that consumers have in a cost effective way because changing any production practice has cost implications for farmers and by extension consumers. So how can we as an industry come together to see where can we have some kind of a trade-off? Are there things that we can do differently? But I think that moving forward, highlighting 
particularly the wholesomeness of dairy products of milk is something that I think the industry have, hasn't exploited. And based on our result, that issue is as important as the other issues that, that we addressed. And that is where there is that con convergence between farmers and consumers. Professor Boitley, did, did your survey also look at some environmental issues? I know in Wisconsin, Water quality has been a, a pretty big issue, and there's concerns that dairy operations might be contributing to some problems in, in, with water quality. Was that another topic that your study kind of found out, that, that that's a, a divergence between or the, 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 the consumers and the dairy industry kind of they're on different sides of the fence, so to speak? A very good question, Brian. We did not look, unfortunately, we did not look at that, the water quality issue, but I think that this, that's a very important issue that perhaps future studies or maybe an, a good extension of our work could also be looking at that particular issue. But for this study, our focus was more on the social ethical part of it, specifically the treatment of animals and animal welfare in general. So the study is going to be published. Where will, will folks be able to read about it or see about it? Um, the, we, we have a, a magazine publication coming out with the um, dairy, um, hot, Hotsman Dairy. Um, Horst um, Dairyman. H Horst Dairyman, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the correction. So that will be our, uh, it's coming out maybe in a week or two. Um, Outside of that, because we wanted to reach the industry as much as possible, outside of that, we have um, academic type publications that are coming out as well. And then we will also be part of the Dairy Innovation Hub conference in Madison later on in the year. And we are also reaching out to farmer groups and extension groups that may be interested in our work. We are available to talk to folks about what we found and how we can strategically position the industry to be to be more competitive in that in that arena. Will you then, you know, we mentioned a little bit about the water quality, but potential future studies. What will potential future studies? Will you try to expand on this one? down the road and, and when would that take place in the next in the upcoming school year or, or upcoming school years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that right now in terms of the the social issues, I think what we were hoping to do is that now that we have heard from farmers and consumers, what we I think it's important that we take the information that we have directly to the industry and start to engage them in sort of a, a productive way. One of the key things that we want to do is to look at further up the supply chain, to look at pro milk processors and other people value add activities to see what their opinions are so that we can effectively close the loop and have a holistic supply chain understanding. Relation to the, in relation to the water quality, I, I think that is a very important issue and um, hopefully the Dairy Innovation Hub will give us a bit more funding, but in the next year, we hope to sort of delve a bit more deeply into that issue since it's a very, very important issue for the industry. We will look forward to seeing that study again coming out in Hordes Dairyman. That is Professor Alberta Boitley. He is with the University of Wisconsin River Falls. And you're listening to the WRDN Morning Farm Report.